How's it going, my true people? Dr. Slacking, the Slacking Doctor, back with week three of Egg, as this week, your Cots or Bim's Cots go up against J Bear Jesse and his, uh, the Graveyard. His six are currently on layout. He sent them to me ahead of the game, so this is the six he's bringing. I'm starting a little bit early. I don't know if he's quite ready to connect yet, so I might have to make a cut, but, um... I'm a little bit surprised by the six he's bringing, so I thought I'd start recording now before he gets here. Uh, I really thought we were going to see an Enamorous, um, and I really thought we were going to see a Scissor with the main two. I didn't really think about Zerud in prep, for whatever reason, my mind just kind of blanked on Zerud. Um, so we're a little bit unprepared for Zerud. Uh, but you can see above my head the six that we're bringing. Uh, we're going full Trick Room. Like, I just couldn't figure out a way to make my offense win um, with, like, good speed control and things like that, like Scarfers and stuff. Or, when I say good speed control, standard speed control. So we've got a full trick room with room service, fucking Hooper, uh, with Baberi Berry, um, Mimikyu for the Sizzle, which isn't even here, and, and that Hooper's Terra Steel to try and hit an Enamorous, whereas looking at his team, it's definitely going to be the Zerud that's the check. Um, so yeah, a few things not gone to plan there, but it's okay. Uh, so we're just basically going to lead off with the Forager, just get Hazards up, set trick room up, and try to get as many KOs as we can as quickly as possible. If you can't tell by my voice, I am not feeling well at all. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that scheduling was super hard for us, it's currently Sunday, we didn't really match up very well with time zones wise during the week. Um, if it wasn't for that and the fact that last week was such a mess, I might have asked for an extension to be honest because I feel horrendous. I've been ill all day and do not feel good. So this might be a slightly subdued video, um, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best to keep the hype going. I'm gonna make a cut here anyway and I'll be back with the actual battle. All right, here we are. We have found him, we're connecting, so this is looking good. Um, good luck, have fun to him. We already know the six he's bringing. We already know our leads, this is super easy. Um, yeah, not much to think about here. We get our hazards up. We try to go boom if we can. Um, and then from that point, we, we, tr we try and get up trick room, and we, we roll with that. I'm not sure why the Quillfish is here. That's the thing that surprised me the most. Um, what on my team does Quillfish really check? Unless he just wants his own sort of hazard stack. I feel like Quillfish is just really pressured by all of my team. I guess maybe a Violite Intimidate now. Um, with like... Yeah, switching into Arcanine's Flare Blitz. Things like that. I'm not really too sure. Not really too sure. It's an interesting one. So, oh. Part of me wants to just gyro ball, but that is absolutely not the game plan. Is the boots just torn? Excuse me if you hear me sniffing as well. I know it's disgusting. I, I just, I'm so ill. Um, uh, I'm going to get rocks up. Like, a part of me wants to go for... Oh, this was his terror user. I forgot to mention that. I couldn't really remember what his terror user was, not going to lie. Um, I built this team a few days ago, and I don't really remember what any of it does. So he's Terra Water. He's just going to drop the uh, the big blast on us right now. Actually, he just goes for the U-turn. So he wants Terra Water so that he's not weak to rocks. Smart. I've got a lovely cup of tea beside me. No milk, no sugar, the way God intended. Oh, lovely. Um, so because we're Spider. Photosynthesis. Because we're sp deaf, we will definitely take one hit from this thing. Do I want to just go boom, or do I want to get sp a spike up as well? If I just go boom, then I can get in Mimikyu and Trick Room. Will I kill this thing? Do I need to kill this thing? Will the hazards put other things in range? I'm just going to spike. As he goes for his own rocks. So it's not good for Arcanine, but otherwise it's kind of okay. Um, yeah, it's kind of okay. I think I'm just going to boom now. Prioritize damage. I don't know if he's got spikes on this, which would, would be annoying. I want to get greedy and spike again. That 
that Zerud. It would be really helpful for the Zerud. Yeah, and I did wonder, like, if he's not offensive, do we take a couple of those? And we do. So... We're at 200. I mean, the U-turn probably did, like, four to us. So that probably did about 150. So we wouldn't be able to take two of those, I don't think. I think he did more than 100 points of damage. So do I just boom here? I think I just boom here. Yeah, because I don't want him doing that, exactly. Nice. Wish I'd gone with normal uh, normal gem, which I considered, but I, I went with the Ocker Berry for like Torn lead um, to make sure I could at least get uh, something up on it. Okay. Hopefully the game's audio f is fixed this week, by the way. I did try and fix that for you, so hopefully I succeeded in that. Um, Trick room. Mm. Get the trick room off. I'm assuming the shadow claw will kill. Oh, it doesn't. Mimic is weak, man. We do tank the hit, luckily. Um, I'm just going to Shadow Claw again. Like, there was part of me that wanted to Drain Punch in case Zerud came out, but... It was not part of my thinking that he would get all of his adders up with this thing on my um, on my Foratress. I thought he'd be wary of, like, Spin or something, so... That this hasn't exactly gone as I'd hoped. Um, Sandy Shocks is such an interesting one to me. I really want to use that mon at some point. It's got great typing. I don't know. I, I don't know much about the new mons, but it, it just seems really good, Sandy Shocks. Um, I'm just going to Shadow Claw here. So we've used one, two, three. So I think we've got another, what, two turns of Trick Room? Maybe one turn of Trick Room? It's a good chip for Ursa Luna. As the Chilling Water comes out. I think Luna can just drop it from there. With facade crunch, ice punch, ice punch. He's got too many switch ins. The problem is Akai in is hard to switch out once it's in, and I kind of wanted that banded E speed at the end. But the head smash would just claim one, wouldn't it? Just have to back myself to be able to get up Trick Room again later with something. Rather than relying on Banded E Speed to clear up. With those hazards, it's actually going to be harder to get Trick Room up than I thought it was going to be. So let's say just Head Smash here. So I don't think he was... I think he was Boots on that, right? I think he didn't take any Rocks Chip, so... Yeah, so this does come out for this, but what I'm thinking is it's kind of okay if we end up with this thing in, because I think Sloking can set up Trick Room on this pretty safely. Oh, we missed. That's annoying. Um, that really sucks, actually. Okay, so we're going to go Sloking. We'll save the banded E speed in the back, it can still be useful. That's really gutting that we didn't we didn't manage to hit that. Um but it's okay. Bar barrage. That poisons us, and I think it does more the next turn once we're already poisoned, I think that's right. So I think this is gonna We should we should still take it, right? We're fucking sloking and he's a quill fish. Is that how that, that move works? really regret the lagging. Oh, we actually don't take that. That's so bad. I don't I don't really know what that move does, I'll be honest with you. That's a, that's a new one on me. Um, those hazards are killing me. 
Maybe I was too greedy. Maybe I should have gone boom sooner with Fortress. We've got to be so bulky that we'll take a hit with this. But maybe the, the route is to get Trick Room up with Buggy now. While we can get Trick Room up in front of something. And then, like I said, go for an E-Speed endgame, maybe. I'm struggling to see a lot of other endgames here, because this is our last Trick Room user. Look how big he looks compared to Quillfish. Quillfish is like looking up at him like, holy shit. Okay, Destiny Bond. So he's going to be able to stall out a turn of Trick Room by doing that, because obviously I can't. Look at that room service coming in. Oh no, I didn't mean to I was button spamming! Oh, I meant to click Drain Punch that turn! That is so sad. That is so sad. Ugh. Ugh. I'm an idiot. Just took Chip on this for no reason. Ugh. Just mashing A. Oh, God. I'm bad at this game. You can tell it's been a while. I'm not well. That's my excuse. All right. Last time you went for a bar barrage. So look, if we... I haven't got Drain Punch. I... Terra Steel. Whatever. You know what I mean. I went to go for the move that wasn't going to kill it. Was the point. Um, if he goes for another bar barrage, we're immune. Because I think that's a poison type move, right? It's the whole Overquill signature thing, right? Right? I briefly looked at it in the drafting because I kind of wanted to draft Overkill because it looks cool. So I have a vague idea, but not a, not a firm idea. Did you know that Rocky Helmet makes you take... Um, makes you take that? Uh, kind of Dark Pool so that if he tries to switch into um, Zarude, we would still have got Chip. Earth Kick. Pop was hurt by Rocky Helmet. I took his Rocky Helmet because I'm a fucking magician. I forgot about that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So Terra Blast did not activate the Rocky Helmet. I missed, I didn't read the text, I'll be honest. My eyes just glazed over. I saw Rocky Helmet was like, oh, okay, Terra Blast is contact. Uh, I remember losing once back in Gen uh, 7, 8? When was Zemus? Gen 7. Um, when I thought that I could activate a Rocky Helmet into a Z-move version of Exorcist, so I guess Savage Spin-Out, I think was the move name. I thought I could, um... Flinch! I thought I could, yeah, I thought I could activate Rocky Helmet to win the game and chip down a Scolipede and it didn't work. No dodge either, wow. Alright, Kuma, it's all up to you. Hooper just looks cold in this game, doesn't it? Uh, this hasn't worked out the way we'd with the way we'd hoped, but you know, it's been fun, right? We brought some we brought some weird techs. I haven't had to think too much, which I'm very grateful for right now. Oh, I forgot to take the um... cool fish off the layout, didn't I? I forgot to take a lot of things off the layout. I'm not with it. Sorry. Who else is off the layout? Uh, Mimikyu. Oh, there's like three Pokemon on my side off the layout, isn't there? Shit, my bad. Just gonna ice punch, like, yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not here today. Sorry. Try next time. No staff in. No room at the inn. No one is home. Home. Saw piglets this morning. I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. Fuck you. You don't deserve the whole story. But I saw piglets. If we can dodge a hydro pump or a freeze dry, we can win. Easy. Um, whew, come on, you're a big oh, that's terrible black. That's boring, isn't it? That's so boring. I'm disappointed in you, J Bear. I thought you know you would run hydro pump like a man, but you're a coward. It turns out you're a coward. I'm here on my deathbed, and you're running. Terra Blast. Shameful. I hope you're ashamed. I hope you're deeply, deeply ashamed. If I could Terra Normal right now and E-Speed you, I would. 
I can't because I obviously didn't make this terra normal because that'd be illegal. And secondly, I already used my terra. But if I could, I would. Just, just as revenge for running something that can't miss. How dare you? All right, well, we got bodied. But, you know, we kind of... I, kind of thought I, was gonna help. I really like Iron Bundle, like how it looks. I don't know if it's good or not. I just really like how it looks, and I want to draft it really badly. GG to J-Bear. I'm going to go uh, suck a fucking guzzle a fucking bottle of Lemsip. Does Lemsip come by the bottle? You get it by the sachet and the pill. I don't know. I'm going to go chug on some medicine, and I've actually got a whole tub of ice cream for my throat because I knew that my voice would be really hurting after this, and it is. So wish me luck in my lactose intolerant endeavours because my throat's going to feel better, but the toilet ain't. GG to J-Bear. I will be back next week. Thanks so much for looking around with me, and I'll catch you again next time.